Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time I'm going to be going over the YCS J Tokyo Finals. This is the biggest YCS there's ever been. There was like 7,500 players in this tournament. It actually broke the Guinness World Record. Okay, they're setting three back row. Uh, I don't know what these players are playing yet, but that's a uh, you know pretty bad look to set three and pass. Also, it's crazy that the judges made them turn these around. Um, but okay, 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 so now we're going to see the player on the left activate pre-prep. Okay, so that's almost just like guaranteed voiceless, right? Uh, if they have Ash, that's probably just what you Ash, so that way they don't set up. Yeah, so they go ahead, Ash the pre-prep, no called by cross out. Uh, you know, most OCG players, main deck, uh, you know, two called by, and a cross out in their deck lists. Uh, just because of stuff like Max C. Also, this tournament is a best of one, not a best of three. So, you know, it definitely changes, like, how things are played. Uh, they're going to go normal summon low, low effect. Also can change, like, how your deck is built. Uh, so they're going to go bring out barrier from the deck. And then barrier effect to go search. So we didn't see an imperm on low. If they had imperm, uh, I assume they would have. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they're going to go ahead cosmic the barrier there. Yeah, but like I said, you know, in a best of one, maybe you want to main deck a little bit of back row hate. Uh, just so that way you could be more prepared against like the stun decks and things like that. Um, so they're going to go ahead, stop barrier. They stop pre-prep. Uh, is the voiceless player able to continue here? Like if they have a Safara Dragon Queen, uh, that, can, <clears throat> that can be very strong. But once again, you know, called by at two. Uh, so they're just passing there. Uh, hopefully they attacked, you know, there's really not a lot of punishes to attacking in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not like you're going to get hit with Mirror Force. If they have Mirror Force, then honestly, you'd be fine with that anyways. Um, but okay, they just draw, pass, activate pre-prep again, activate Ash again. Okay, sure. Uh, they didn't top that called by a cross out there either. Uh, the pre-prep was probably in the hand last turn. Normal summon out low. This is literally just what happened last turn. Okay, so normal summon out. Also, I'm pretty sure this card's just in the hand. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that card's in the hand. Uh, so low effect resolves to go ahead place from deck. So they're thinking on what they want to place here. Uh, I mean, it's probably barrier, but I guess you could also place the trap card. Uh, I mean, the opponent seems to be pretty far behind. You know, maybe you don't actually go for the spell just because it would play into something like called by. Maybe you do go for trap if you have something in your hand that works with it. But okay, they just grab out barrier. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, barrier effect, chain cosmic. It's literally just like on loop of what just happened. Okay, so once again... Are they able to push past this? I would assume not. Uh, so they could go ahead, poke, and then go into like a... Oh, I guess you can make Link Karibo, right? Yeah, yeah, I was about to say the Anima SP, but they have Link Karibo legal, so you definitely make Link Karibo first. And then you can go Battle Phase Attack, and then you have the Main Phase 2, make SP, banish the last back row. Now SP is also a interruption. Uh, it could also play in the Sky Crisis. Um, you know, you also have to assume that the voiceless player has non-engine at this point. Because, you know, they, they haven't shown any non-engine. Uh, yeah, they're asking to see what's in the opponent's graveyard. Uh, that means they either play, like, Lina or Dark Charmer or something like that. Okay, so Droplet gets banished there. Sure. I w like, what deck are they playing? They play a lot of non-engine in their deck, obviously. Is it Tenpai? It definitely could be Tenpai, right? Wait, uh... Yeah, could be, because I'm pretty sure the player on the left won the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and made the player on the right go first. Huh. So, they just go set one card, pass turn. All right, sure. Uh, so, pass play there. Uh, oh, no. Activate during main phase. Uh, they're going to activate the trap card. Wait, that's just game, right? Like, you just get so far ahead off of that. So, activate the trap card, go ahead, put back Sir Arvis, and then that can bring out, you probably just bring out, what, low in the barrier again? Yeah, uh, oh, oh, I guess you could also go, oh, okay, I'm just gonna grab out Sephora Dragon Queen. I was gonna say, you could also go low in the Blessing, that seems pretty solid. You have Blessing that would be able to add back to. 
Uh, but we're going to start the turn. Oh, Active Extravagance. Do we see the third Ash Blossom? Yeah, draw two in a simplified game state like this is broken. So that's going to go through. Sure. Hopefully we get to see what the opponent's playing by the end of this match. I mean, <laughs> okay, draw two there. Uh, now they're going to activate Safara Dragon Queen effect. Uh, I mean, if they have a response, you have to do it. Okay, so we do see the third Ash there. Yeah, they didn't Ash Extravagance because as bad as draw two is, if Safara Dragon Queen resolves, they just auto-lose the game because that puts a Ritual Spell in the graveyard for the trap. That makes their engine live. Uh, okay, now they just poke with 16. I mean, this is like... This is good for the player on the right, at least. Like, they haven't lost. And it's been like four turns now. So... Okay, probably... Okay, just passing turn. This... this it does suck, though, because... I assume... I just assume they're playing Tenpai. Uh, and if that's also the case, the opponent probably has, like, Ash in their hand. Okay, activate Bestial Magma Mutt. Uh, so go ahead, banish the Safara Dragon Queen. I guess you could banish Link Kribo. Okay, so they're act asking the read over Radiance. You know, you don't want to mess up, especially, like, on stream. Uh, some people get, like, extra nervous on stream and stuff. Uh, so, I mean, it's it's definitely not either low. You're not going to target either of those. It's either Link Kribo or Safara Dragon Queen. If they target Link Kribo... Okay, I was going to say that makes me believe that they probably have a Imperm set, but they wouldn't have set Imperm. It's Droplet then, right? It's like a pretty easy read uh, that they have that set. So they summon out Bistio Magma, activate the effect of search during the end phase, and then end phase, like SP chain to go banish. Now end phase goes search. Uh, yep, it, it is Tenpai. Okay, so unfortunate that they bricked. Also... Oh, okay, they're going to search out the new Tenpai card. Yeah, also, that's kind of crazy. Like, Tenpai in a best of one sounds like a wild deck. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and read over that. I don't know, like, best of one, there's so many different things that you can do. Like, you could play, like, a, a deck that's, like, super combo-oriented. And if you win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, you kind of just, like, win the game. Uh... You know, Maxi is a card uh, that you would have to worry about. Uh, you could play a deck like Tenpai that can play tons of going second cards and just always let your opponents go first. Okay, so they're going to add the Tenpai and then tribute it off to go ahead and special summon out the Tenpai Bidora. Uh, or I guess uh, Pydora. Uh, I'm not too sure what the... O I mean, I know the OCG names, but I'm just going to call them by the TCG names. Uh, they're going to search out the quick play spell there, sure. Uh, that's just follow-up for the next turn. And then... What did it say that? Oh, oh, they're going to set it. Okay, that's fine. In case the opponent goes battle phase, then we can go ahead and summon out a body. So now pass turn. I mean, the voiceless voice player just needs to, like... I feel like they just need to draw anything at this point. There's, like, infinite top decks, like low... Barrier, Blessing, Safara Dragon Queen, any Ritual Spell, any Ritual Monster. There we go. Activate Blessing. And that's a pretty good one, too. So, activate it. And then they're asking to read over it. Uh, yeah, again, I just don't think they want to mess up here. I assume, like, they have to know Voiceless Voice cards, right? Like, you have to know it, because that's, like, one of the strongest decks. Uh, so now they're going to go... Blessing to go ahead, try to add back barrier from the banish pile. And now they're going to activate barrier. Uh, and also, once barrier sticks, I mean, the game is no longer just going to be in a passing, like, pass back and forth anymore. The game is definitely going to end within, like, the next, like, turn or two. Because uh, now the Tenpai player is set up and the voiceless voice player is extremely set up. So, barrier, go search, grab out Skull Guardian. And then activate Safara Dragon Queen uh, to go ahead, tribute, and then special summon out from the hand. So tribute the Tierras, or Trias, uh, bring out Skull Guardian, and then they're going to go low one, Skull Guardian two. And I'm pretty sure they have droplets set by the way that they played this. So, but, I guess? I don't know, I feel like they should have still, even if it is droplet, wouldn't you still just bestial? the Safara Dragon Queen, since Droplet was going to be sending Bestial Magma Mutt. Yeah. 
yeah, like you'd have to send Bestial Magma, otherwise you play in the Link Karibo or SP, so like you could never really send a spell. Uh, so now they're thinking in response here about what they want to do. Unless if it's something crazy. It could be like a crazy tech card. Imagine like also Kaiser Colosseum in the best of one, you know, floodgates like that. Uh, those can be broken. I mean, it's pretty much like Master Duel, right? Like, you know, Master Duel, sometimes you just get cheesed by stuff. Or sometimes, you know, your opponent just opens max C, you open a whole hand of engine, and you just lose to it. Uh, at least a deck like Voiceless Voice against that will have a better time against max C. But they're going to go ahead, bring out low from the graveyard, go search, and low effect, go place barrier from the deck. Yup, that is good. Alright, now from here... How do they want to approach this? Your opponent's only at 4,050 right now. It should be 4,000 if we didn't forget to attack with low on the first turn. Um, but now we're going to go activate the trap to pop the unknown back row. And we have Skull Guardian negate set up too. So they're going to go ahead, chain forbidden droplet. Yeah, I, why would you banish Link Karibo? Yeah, no, I don't think that makes sense the way that they played it. So they're going to go ahead, send the Pydora, shut down Skull Guardian, and half its attack there. Okay, activate Safara Dragon Queen. Uh, obviously, that's going to resolve now. We know the last uh, uh, card that is set is the Tenpai Quick Play spell. So now go ahead, dump Ritual spell, grab out Skull Guardian. And then from here, they're going to link off SP plus Skull Guardian. Oh, they're thinking about it. I was going to say, they could make a Dino Mondo and then Dino Mondo to go ahead and spin back. But we're going to start off by summoning out Sir Arvis Dragon Sage, which is good there. So now, even if the opponent activates like the back row card, uh, we'll get to go ahead and tag out. And now we're going to activate Blessing Effect there, it looked like, is what we pointed at to Ritual Summon. So, if we can Ritual Summon to bring out another Skull Guardian there, then Skull Guardian shuts down the Quick Play spell. So now, now it's interesting, because if they activate the Quick Play spell to go search, they just lose Guaranteed. Because then the Sararvis will tag out into Skull Guardian, and then they could just say Battle Phase and win the game. So you actually just, you have to let it go and just pray. You can't chain. Yeah, you can't chain there. You don't even have, an, yeah, you can't. You just simply can't do it. They're thinking very hard if they want to, but it's actually just not even a choice. All right, fair enough. GG's, GG's. Uh, activate quick play spell, chain Sir Arvis, bounce back, go special, brings out Sir Arvis from the deck. Also, it makes you wonder, uh, how, how much time do they have for these rounds? Because there's no way it's going to be 45 minutes. Like how it normally is. Uh, even though, you know, because I mean, it's a, it's a best of one, not a best of three. So it shouldn't take nearly as long. But they get to the summon out Skull Guardian. They do have the tribute, though. Did they? Uh, I didn't notice if they did. Uh, but it doesn't even matter there, to be honest. Because they're going to go ahead, shuffle back, and then battle phase swing for game. Okay, so Voiceless Voice ends up winning that. Uh, that was a little bit unfortunate. I wish the Tenpai player could have maybe drawn, you know, Bistial Magma, like, you know, two turns prior or drawn any Tenpai card. Uh, maybe the Voiceless Voice player had non-engine to stop it. But there's also a chance that they didn't and they would have just auto-lost to it. Uh, if the Tenpai player was able to actually combo there. But okay, that's going to be it for the YCSJ Tokyo Finals 2024. The biggest YCS ever. Once again, there was like 7,500 people in this or something. Broke the Guinness World Record for like, I think it was like most players at a card game tournament or something like that. I don't know the exact like qualifications for it. But, you know, huge YCS. And alright, with the Libyan said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.